Hello Horror Talk fans, Alan Sheedy here. Uh, it's been a very, very hectic month with it being October and uh, the Halloween special, so we've been on some crazy, crazy days out. Isn't that right, Sharon? Sharon! Sharon! <laughs> the plan is no penis! What? You've missed everything. Yeah, I'm Sharon Davis, one Yeah, so. It's Saturday morning, midday, and we're in a pub. Things are good so far. Living the dream. We're actually on set of Vincent Cleghorn's new film. Haters. Haters. And so we've been invited to not only film a little bit of feature, but we're also going to be extras. Cool. Add a bit of class to the film. I love that it's not classy already. Yeah. Just be here. Yeah. Cool. you say horror, it is horror. It's a terrifying film. Um, it's set in Paris, but it's filmed in England. Okay. And it's about one woman's struggle over the hordes of hell, if you like. Hell is hatched, and this lady is trapped in her apartment, and they're mentally torturing her. But she also has lots of kind of hidden secrets which are which are kind of adding to the whole torment that they're using against her, really. So. Uh, it's quite terrifying. I believe this is an exclusive, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, who's, who have you got playing as the main actress? Uh, we have an actress called Morjana Alawi, which we're very privileged to have here playing the part, the lead. And it's a second horror film, uh, which horror fans might know a first film, which yes. was called Martyrs, which Brilliant. should know yeah. her first film. <laughs> Actually, if they call themselves horror fans. I think if they're watching this on Horror Talk TV, they should be in yeah. the Legion of, of, of Martyrs fans. And I believe, yeah, you do have uh, an Indiegogo campaign just set up as well. Yes. Um, well, um, if, pe if people would like to contribute towards the film, towards helping us to finish the film, obviously we've shot all of the film now and it's in, in post-production. And it is mostly the uh, special effects. Everything else is being shot and it looks amazing. It's mostly those to help us just get couple the finishing of, yeah. touches to, to, the, to the film. <laughs> but the only thing, the only one thing that hasn't been shot yet is a scene with um, an evangelist, and I think that's one of the rewards on Indiegogo is that people can actually um, wow. be in that scene. So yeah, cool. the yeah. crowd scene, but yeah. we will be picking certain people out of that crowd as well. Which I'm saying, you know, we prob we'd probably be brilliant oh, yes. with, yeah. with or without a contribution, though, seeing <laughs> oh, it. Oh, buy a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a horror fan? Are you both horror fans? Is this a sort of story like I've, or I've, rom -com? I've always loved horror. The one that I really, really like that I've watched most recently is The Orphanage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everything, the music, everything. Yeah. I think it's always a bit strange you've got a child in a horror film though. Because when there was yeah. there was one of the Nightmare on Elm Streets, it was like the last one where there was a kid. He was there was a moment when Freddy's like reaching to him in his arms, yeah. extending, and the kids it's in the back crying. I'm like, it? I don't yeah. want kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm going to <laughs> Oh, well, we've we've used the uh, child theme to full effect, haven't we? We won't give anything away, but yeah. we've used that to full yeah. effect. So it's you might not like this. One, yeah. 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 But uh, no, we're very much looking forward to seeing the film when it's Absolutely. finished. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we also hear you know, a couple of really cool extras that yeah. appeared in it as well. Just two so two brilliant have, ones. Yes, very good ones. actors. Looking forward to seeing them on screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah watch out for them. If they, if they yeah. somehow yeah. end yeah. up on the DVD, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know what? They make the movie. Thought so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. And, and then more Janet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's secondary. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean, you went to lose some sorry love. Just taking a break. Get some air. Uh, did pretty well. Shooting the breeze. Did pretty well. Yeah. An Oscar is on the horizon. Horror Talk TV. I'm speaking to the beautiful Morjana, star of the new film Haters, which we're really excited to see. Welcome. So uh, I'm not going to say too much. Okay. Because um, 
you have to watch the film. Yeah. I'm scared to spoil it. Um, so what I can tell you is that my character Elise finds herself barricaded in her apartment um, because basically hell has hatched. Okay. There are demons attacking the world everywhere on the news. They're telling that they're telling the people that they have to barricade themselves in their apartment. And she finds herself in a, um, a battle, a journey, um, that where she fights for survival. Okay. So it's both a physical and emotional uh, battle. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, from uh, your previous horror film, uh, Martyrs, um, you there have a, quite a physical and emotional mm -hmm. battle as well. So what was, it, what was it like playing that intense role for this part? <clears throat> well, for both parts, um, it's very intense as an actress. You have to be focused all the time. You have to manage to get into these intense feelings yeah. very rapidly. Um, but it was great fun. I enjoyed both of them a lot. Yeah? Yeah. So what attracted you in particular to this story? Um, Haters, as soon as I read the script, I couldn't let it go. I, I just loved it. Uh, it was very, very well written. I could already see a film. Um, Vincent uh, managed to just write a story about a girl in her apartment and he managed to show all the emotional uh, aspects of her in just uh, on one set. Yeah. And also I thought the project was very exciting and, and very risky. This, uh, the whole film is about Elise in her flat. Obviously in Martins you're covered in gore quite a lot of the time. What's it like with this? Have you got any intense sort of like covered in blood situations? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah? You'll see. <laughs> oh, wicked, okay. So um, you're currently raising money as well to kind of complete some areas of the film, aren't you? That's um, a campaign you on Indiegogo. Yeah. So um, what's that been like sort of raising the cash for that? Well, I think it's a brilliant idea and uh, we just need a little bit of help to finally finish the film. Yeah. So uh, if you can go on indiegogo.com and search for haters. Any help is welcome. Um, we'd be very happy. Okay, the next trailer is The Beast Among Us. Is it about Jimmy Savile? No, it's Werewolf. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that one, okay. Yes. Um, too soon, Sharon, too soon. <laughs> um, the thing about this trailer is the guy voicing it's just weird. The whole, there was a town where there were werewolves. I'm just like, oh, God. It just kind of ruins He talks like that in real life. I reckon when he's like, I'd like a Big Mac and fries, please. Um, yeah, so anyway, the trailer looks okay. I'm sure the film will be brilliant as long as this voiceover guy isn't commenting over the whole thing but um let's 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 take a look take care of what needs to be done here no guts no glory this fall the legend is reborn what the door? werewolf the beast among us own it on blu-ray and dvd october 2012 Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just filming. Brilliant. I'm gonna film everything. <laughs> Excellent. Um, when you're going to Farmer Ted's to see some pigs and sheep and stuff, I don't know why you're so. I concerned. know, but I've never been to kind of like a farm at night before, so it sounds quite interesting. It's gonna be fun. This is a road trip. Road trip! Road trip! Don't you think? Yeah. It's gonna be brilliant. Okay. I wonder what time's it going <gasps> What? See what? me in the mirror. <laughs> I've, I've so already, I've already broken the first rule of filming. You're so vain. That's it. I'm officially not going to be a survivor now since you've seen my face. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Alan. Do you like to be filmed? No. Is it really. brilliant? My good side is somewhere around the back. <laughs> I want, I want to see how close it can get to you with this camera, Alan. Oh, Real wow. close. Yeah, really go into those claws. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All those insecurities, make sure you get them all. I had a terrifying experience of the cow. There's lots of people there. Ah, yeah, that's awesome. Because cows, they only have one facial expression, unless. This is it, 200 meters. Farm Ted's! Woo! We're gonna see some piggies in the tractor. Let's try lamb. Yeah. I thought this was Farmer Ted's. That sign over there said this is Farmer Getty. Where are the animals? <laughs> this 
this doesn't look like an ordinary farm. I mean, what have you got us into? I mean, crazy shit going on. Next up is the trailer for Room 237, which is a documentary, I believe. Indeed it is. It's about Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. It's a documentary about the making of that, which I'm quite looking forward to, actually. Bonza. Yes. The trailer doesn't really give that much away, does it? It gives nothing away. No. It is like a blank face. Literally best carpet ever, though. Um, if you think that you could rival this carpet, then please tweet me a picture at, at Veggie Shaz on Twitter. Um, but other than that, let's just enjoy the rest of the trailer. I was educated here. I, everything I could in my power to not be educated here, but then we the break. still ended up in the same place. Part yeah. of TV. Education matters not. <laughs> yeah. um, We're here for the uh, Well Wilt Comic Con. Oh okay, yeah, so who are you going to go see? Give me a Do 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 Bum, 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 bum. But uh, a bit more jazzy. Uh, I think there was I was no doing jazz. Same there thing, was actually. no jazz. Oh. So we're going to see the Red Dwarf guys and we're going to see Warwick Davis. Yeah, Leprechaun and uh, Anthony Hez. <laughs> I wasn't offensive. He was in a film called Leprechaun. Yeah, no, yeah. that's not. That's not dude on Sunday. Um, uh, Anthony Hez and some Game of Thrones people and the guy from American Pie. Lots of interesting Welsh people. Yes, uh, so let's go and look inside and mingle. safely say that it's funny uh, and the reason we can safely say that is because one we think it's funny and two the audiences that were there when we were recording it were doing that laughing thing that you humanoids do so well mm -hmm. so that was a very good clue and it was a very great uh, you know it was very reassuring for us because we, we just sort of dived in hoping for the best and thinking, yeah. we think this is funny and we think these characters still work but we haven't done it for a long time and it was fantastic so it's a, it a very good and the finished product is yeah. amazing to see it. I re I've, as a fan myself, I absolutely can't wait to see it. It's been like 13 years since you guys have actually done a full series, so it's like working together. 
it was very easy to work together because we've known each other for you know a quarter of a century virtually. So you know it's not like you've got to meet new, fresh members of the cast, you know, cast members where you have to sort of tiptoe lightly around them sort of, before you get to know them, before you can start calling a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, the, with these boys, you know, you, you, as I say, we know each other so well, so we're relaxed. Well, we were relaxed on day one, so yeah. we could just start, you know, filming, you know, without any, you know, minding your P's and Q's. Fair enough, love it. I mean, what would be your favourite horror film then? Well, I love those old Hammer horror Anyone films, in particular? Um, no, they're all the same. All all, all of them. Same. It was sort of Peter Cushing, sort of you know, thinking that he, he he put this person together that was going to work and be a normal person. And Christopher Lee got up with a bolt through his head. And, um, <laughs> and some of the Boris Karloff ones, even earlier, were, were extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. So those things used to frighten me. And early Doctor Who's, you know, my son says the early Doctor Who's were the side of them, much yeah, more terrifying really than the, the yeah. latest ones. I mean, the Daleks. Actually, yeah, I'm, 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 in, uh, when I was a little kid and I'm old enough to have seen the very first episode of, of Doctor Who. And when the Daleks were on, just terrified the life out of me. And, I, and we had a my brother's bedroom was upstairs, and mine was on the ground floor. Yeah. And we swapped because I didn't want it because I thought if I'm upstairs, they can't get up the stairs. <laughs> I was about seven at the time, so I worked out that the Daleks, you know, they get my brother. You knew, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's fine. And what was your what were your favourite horror thing? You well, I mean, I, I, the one that's most memorable for me is Night of the Living Dead. The original is that George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, which is a black and white horror film. Which yeah. and I saw that in a cinema in um, the Lake District okay. uh, and I was living on my own in a tiny cottage in the middle of nowhere which I, and I was really happy I was having a little escape from various disturbing relationships and I was really happy there then I went to the movies one night as a treat and then I got back to this little cottage on my own and I just spent the whole night uh, every sound was terrifying it was just thousands of zombies trying to get in and eat me so I found that quite disturbing and I didn't want to go to see any more horror films yeah note to self don't live on your own and then go watch horror films Watch a horror film and walk home yeah. stuff. Exactly. Um, the end of Red Dwarf, the final episode is called The Beginning, and the first episode was called The End. Does that mean that we've gone through circle and we won't be seeing any more dwarfs? I think that's one of those, that's one of those, one of those non-disclosure agreement clauses. <laughs> I think that we're not allowed to say at this, at this point in time. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can roll with that. Yes. I just finally, um, does anyone want any toast? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'd love some. Do you know? I can, actually, I can toast now. Cheese and toast. Hot nice. butter toast now. I'll tell you a marmalade or honey. That would be great. A little bit of, a little bit of set honey and a lovely bit of brown toasted bread. I can roll with that. Uh, but don't go to Shepherd's Canteen if you want toast. <laughs> Um, avoid, avoid. Thank you so much Thank today. You. Thank you. So We're much. with Warwick Davis. Legends! Legend. Yes. Absolute legend, legend actually. Stasis. Absolutely legend. Nice legend. Thank you. No, it's absolutely true. I mean, um, we're from, of course, horror genre lovers, but horror and sci-fi kind of cross-pollinating a lot of the time, and with yeah. yourself being leprechaun, Star Wars, everything, it's kind of amazing for us to meet you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, we're going to ask you a few questions about leprechaun first, if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because obviously next year it's a 20-year anniversary of it. Uh, yeah. Yes, that next year as well, they're going to be uh, doing a remake as well. Um, yeah. I mean, that's supposed to be out next year, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a remake or a reboot. Ah, it's a reboot. It's a reboot. Okay. Would you rather do a reboot or a remake? It's a big... Well, I'm not in it, but I, not? I, no. I would rather there was... I don't think you should remake the film, really. I don't know what yeah. that is. But, um, I mean, Psycho is a good example of that. I mean. Yeah. But I think rebooting is quite a good thing to kick a franchise off again. But uh, I think it's always a good idea to invite the original cast back again. Yeah. Well, you just say, sorry, just, can they just rewind the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly I, wanna, I, I, I mean, the way I know about this is because um, somebody tweeted it, basically, a, a, a wrestler, a little dwarf wrestler in America, tweeted that that's what he's doing next. He, he actually is a leprechaun, because WWE Studios are doing oh. it, they're going to use their man. Oh, is that his persona? That's sorry, can uh, we just well. pin him out, please, because actually this guy <laughs> yeah. is the leprechaun, so... Yes, there's only ever one. Only one. To do it. You know, I was going to take him out, but he's bigger than me, so I can't do it. Because I had, like, yeah, the no best idea. storyline. I was going to pitch a storyline. I've got too. loads of storylines. No we can do... Um, I, I, wanted, I pitched it to Johnny Depp, actually. Leprechaun versus Pirates. Nice. nice. You know, yeah. he's, if he's washed up his career now, 
Uh, but we can reboot both at the same time. So the Leprechaun is going after either the, either his gold or, or, or you know, Captain Jack's and Nick the Leprechaun's gold. It'd be great for everyone, wouldn't it? Because my, my idea, oh, right, if I may, um, right. is uh, because obviously the, the, the Leprechaun films, they always kind of parody what's really kind of popular in horror at the time. So when like all the monsters are going into space, he had Leprechaun in space. Yeah. Yes. When hip-hop artists were starting to play in you had Leprechaun in the hood. The Herald Isle to your place in the hood, and the man of green comes to do no good. Yes. Well, I was thinking, because the whole found footage thing is pretty big at the moment, yeah. and paranormal activity, I was thinking of paranormal Leprechaun. Oh, and I was thinking... Activity. Depends. Yeah, uh, and you have Jennifer Aniston's baby, Peter back for revenge, and all that lot. It'd be brilliant! It'd be amazing. Yeah. We're going to hear first. You don't have to like it, but we were sort of... <laughs> That is a good idea. A Thank good you. Idea. It is. Thank it you. is. Yeah, we really want to see that one, mate.